All right. So this is our third trivia event. So welcome. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, we'll give a prize here to the winner. Uh, it's a $100 uh, coupon to the Bookmap Marketplace. You can choose anything you want in there. Uh, so regardless of whatever subscription you have in Bookmap, uh, you should be able to find something in the marketplace for you uh, and uh, have that work. All right. So uh, are you guys ready? Are we all set to go here? And uh, don't need to go through any risk disclosures or anything like that. Okay. Best of luck, guys. Oh, another one trickling in there. Okay, so we're going to go. Go. We're going to uh, kick it off here. First one. Uh, this usually goes for about thirty minutes or so. Rob, it's not not very long. It's just you know, uh, trying to just kind of you know stimulate the community in here. Do do a little bit of uh, education, but have some fun. Uh, basically, end of the you know trading day and um, and just enjoy basically. So, all right, here we go. Get ready, guys. First question. Okay, now the fastest answer gets the more, most points here. Multibook works with which asset class? You got 10 seconds or 13, or I think it's 15 seconds altogether. So put your, um, put in your answer. Okay, time's up. All right, correct answer is cryptocurrencies. Uh, Multibook is the only um, uh, only works with cryptocurrencies, uh, and um, uh, let's just uh, for those of you who didn't know that uh, you, you 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 chose stocks or or you chose options in here, uh, then let's take a quick look at Multibook and let me show you what it is. It's pretty cool uh, thing to take a look at here. Uh, I've got three different Bitcoins open here. One from uh, uh, Bit um, Binance Futures. Uh, I have here uh, Coinbase Pro, uh, and then I also have here Multibook. Okay, see see the uh, um, symbol here. It says uh, BTC dash USD spot SP stands for spot MB stands for Multibook, and it's at Bookmap Data. So we are actually the data provider here uh, for this product. Basically, what we're doing or what you're looking at here uh, in the Multibook product. Uh, it's a synthetic instrument, uh, and it's up here in the top left corner uh, of the chart. You're looking at five different currency uh, exchanges here for Bitcoin. Uh, you're looking at Bitstamp, Bitfinex, Coinbase Pro, uh, FTX, and Kraken, all together within one uh, uh, chart, one cryptocurrency chart. <laughs> you had a fat finger on that one, uh, uh, HE. Uh, so, I mean, this is a, a, a pr pretty nice thing to take a look at. Many of you uh, trading futures, and maybe you've, you're familiar with looking at CQG, uh, they have synthetic instruments kind of similar to this, but they do spreads. Uh, like uh, you might look at the, um, the oil crack spread, uh, heating gas versus, um, you know, gasoline oil uh, uh, futures. Or you know maybe you're looking at the the 10 year uh, versus the two year, or you know some sort of uh, kind of uh, uh, interesting correlation uh, that um, or you know soybean crush, um, you know looking at uh, a, a couple of different um, related uh, futures instruments but within one instrument only. So it's basically the same thing, but it's all from you know each um, exchange. Uh, for cryptocurrency, it, it has different liquidity. It has like uh, uh, some are big gorillas like uh, Binance. Um, some are much smaller, but you know they they offer um, their own uh, liquidity and 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 transactions. So here you're looking at five of them. It's just going to give you a much more objective view of what's going on in the currency uh, that you wouldn't necessarily see if you're looking at um, just one uh, currency. All right, so uh, that's the edge uh, that you'd get using this uh, this product here. All right. Oh, you got you got to run already. Okay. Well, uh, let's uh, let's take a look and see how the results are. We got the leaderboard already here, ready to go. Uh, and uh, uh, next slide. 
All right, so here we go. Off to the races, George, Allen. Uh, who's who won here? Gives us the winner. Okay, Ben. Looks like you were you're the winner here. You were the fastest. Uh, ben won, uh, and then uh, Jerry, you were next. So uh, uh, on down the line here. Okay. Um, so let's uh, let's move on to number two here. Question number two. Get ready and let's go. Hero stands for what? Take a look at your options. You got 10 more seconds here. A lot of you guys are using this product. Time's up. Whoa. All right. So this is a 14 of you guys. Vast majority got this one right. Uh, uh, it, now it's going to come down to the fastest. Okay. Who, um, uh, who, who replied the fastest here? Uh, you guys are going to get the prize. All right, leaderboard, here we go. Look at the race. Oh, it's pretty close. Okay, Jerry, you're out in front now. And then uh, Kimbo Dice, you're next. And then Dan, and, and then on down. Um, all right, so uh, we got a kind of a separation here. We got uh, some leaders here at the top, and then we have uh, kind of second tier here. Hey, don't give up yet. I mean, there's a, you know, you get it right. You answer really quick on a few of these. Uh, you'll be uh, in the lead, okay? So uh, uh, let's move on to the next question. Uh, oh, let me let me go over what, what uh, HERO stands for. Uh, hedge Impact Real-Time Options. Uh, and uh, I can show you the, the product here. Very unique product from Spot Gamma, uh, Brent over at Spot Gamma. Uh, and uh, uh, let's just show it here. Now, I don't have a whole lot of data in here to take a look at, but uh, you can see like uh, I filtered it on the chart here. Uh, basically, the, the triangle here in the 1K uh, is, is showing that uh, the hedge impact here, uh, and this is their proprietary indicator, uh, is showing that uh, well, um, they're they should be buying futures. We should see a, see a little bit of a boost in the in um, uh, the, um, the the underlying here, uh, the futures product, the S and P E mini, uh, due to uh, dealers having to hedge, okay, having to take the other side of their of the options trade, uh, and therefore what they're going to do is hedge immediately uh, in the futures. Okay, so uh, that's how it works. Uh, and uh, that's their kind of proprietary real time, and this is rather unique in a sense that it was it was real time. Uh, no one, um, even Brent, had never really seen something like this until he developed it. So even he was new to it uh, when it first came out. Now we've got it here on the chart, but we also have it in the subchart in cumulative volume delta of it, uh, which can show you like a you know kind of um, accumulation over time. Uh, nice divergence here, in fact. Uh, so uh, you know, look at how they're they're they've been they've been um, uh, buying in here on the overall, um, and then here at the end of the day here at uh, right at the close ten thousand here, and then it just drops like a rock. All right, so uh, I don't know what to take of that to be honest. Um, I'm sure Brent could go into some really interesting uh, numbers on that. Um, go to their website spotgamma.com. Uh, they've got lots of educational materials on this, etc. You can get this from the Bookmap Marketplace, all right, uh, for for Bookmap, uh, and uh, subscribe to it there, uh, and you'll get access to a whole bunch of other things with Brent and Spot Gamma. All right, all right, Jerry, you're in the lead. Uh, let's move on to the second one here. Or I'm sorry, the uh, third question, and here we go. Oh, don't give up. Don't give up yet. Uh, mouthwash 69. <laughs> um, the, um, uh, you can see Ben was in the, Ben one was in the, in the front and now he's like, um, uh, pretty far behind. So answer really quickly and get it right. Which heat map setting allows you to get more insight when zoomed out? All right, coming to a close here. Time's up. 
Okay, you guys got to uh, know your uh, heat map settings. Uh, 11 of you got it right, vertical smoothing, uh, and then horizontal smoothing. Um, we don't have that, uh, so um, it comes down to the uh, uh, vertical smoothing, and, and there's no diagonal uh, smoothing at all. All right, let's see who's uh, out in front here. So it's going to come down to who answers the quickest, basically. Kimbo Dice, look at that, the quickest. So you're out in front. Uh, Dan, a big, big uh, change there for you. Uh, and um, come on, Mouthwash69, you can do it. Just got to answer quickly in there, uh, and uh, and you'll get in there. Um, all right, guys, let's move on uh, to the, um, uh, the next one here. Or no, I'm sorry, let me go over the heat map and the smoothing settings. This is actually a really great, feature that was offered early on it's very very intelligent um, and the way that this was done in here uh, so especially in um, instruments where let's go to maybe I don't know Nvidia perhaps uh, something in the hundreds of dollars here it's showing vertical smoothing but look at these areas of liquidity in here Right now, if you're looking at something that's you know uh, doesn't have a lot of volatility and you can see the ticks and everything, it's not going to make that big of a difference. But there's so many instruments that have like these huge, huge, like uh, um, numbers. Uh, even the even like the S and P sometimes uh, uh, you can get a lot out out of the vertical smoothing. Here's what it is. Okay, so if I right click and go to heat map settings, or I can go up here to uh, uh, heat map here, uh, and um, studies configuration uh, the smoothing right now it's on vertical smoothing here av or slash averaging uh, is on auto right now uh, if I put it on none this is what this instrument looks like here's the actual per cent okay each each penny here is showing the liquidity and that's pretty hard to read uh, so there's a, a kind of a Gaussian blur or smoothing in here that will make all the difference here in the heat map all right so let's turn it on uh, on auto and here it is see how it just it it smoothed out all of that um, uh, kind of blurred it all out the kind of insignificant um, uh, liquidity in the market here uh, and now we have something we can work with okay very very um, important feature here uh, in the heat map uh, that that offers uh, uh, some some really nice visualization of the liquidity. Now you can also put this on manual, uh, and you can uh, play around with this. Maybe you find your own kind of uh, vertical smoothing in here, right? Maybe maybe you do like uh, I think J Trader kind of looks at it sometimes like this, uh, and then he maybe just uh, you know slightly kind of uh, smooths it out uh, a little bit. It, it's really up to you. I have only played a the only time I've ever used these other manual or none uh, settings was for demo purposes. I've, I always use automatic, right? But uh, it's there if you want it, okay? All right, let's move on and uh, get to the next question here. Question number four. <laughs> Pegasus uh, uh, trivia is a lot more fun than... Uh, uh, then you remember, or maybe it's book map. Okay. Um, all right, guys, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, let's go. Okay, answer quickly. With book maps, one click trading, you can see your position in the queue based on what? Based on what? All right, you guys know your stuff. And these are pretty simple, pretty pretty straightforward questions. Um, but um, all right, it's, uh, yeah, LIFO, FIFO, or pro rata. Um, it's based on FIFO, okay, first in, first out. Uh, and uh, I, can, I can demo this for you in here uh, and what exactly um, I mean. Uh, let's go to the futures market here and let me zoom in, okay. Uh, and you, you see the see in the uh, the vertical white line in here. This is our large lot tracker in the COB column here. Uh, but uh, uh, you're going to see a um, 
uh, a yellow line in here that will show my position in Q. Uh, so uh, let's turn on the um, one-click trading, okay? And then I'm going to place uh, an order uh, in here. And we can go into all sorts of details on the orders in here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bypass all of that, but uh, uh, if I set some orders in here, it's actually a blue line in here. Now I must have I must have changed it. Uh, you can go to see see the little blue line in there. That is my it's it's simulating my position in the queue. And now it's funny that it puts me already kind of a little bit into the queue. But I should be at the end of the line here. All right, and uh, let me let me go to the uh, you can go to configurations here and this is where you'll find that setting if you don't like it or you want to uh, turn it on or off or whatever uh, it's orders queue right here orders display orders queue so here it's not displayed now here it is okay that's it uh, this is very um, interesting here now I'm in sim okay so it, it even in sim um, our simulator does a really good job in here of showing, uh, uh, you know, you, you these need to, um, these orders in front here, it's kind of simulated your position, but there's orders in front of you. This will not, these will not fill until these orders in front of you fill. So this is a, a, a really good simulator in within Bookmap. The I, I was kind of going back and forth with a um, uh, uh, a trader uh, saying that our simulator is, um, you know, not accurate. It's not uh, properly displaying things in here. I think it's extremely accurate um, compared to a lot of other simulators I've seen. Um, also, your uh, your market buy and sell orders, like um, you know, there's there are positions also in in those queues. It's not the limit order book, but um, you know, it's the order um, of uh, 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 executions, uh, and uh, you know, it simulates that as well. So um, I don't think you could do much better um, in simulation here. Um, in the live market, of course, it puts you in the queue, right? And that's that. Uh, so live market's live market, uh, and and it will it will put your put you in there. The um, uh, you know you can see that uh, other people have added in liquidity after our um, uh, we put in these um, uh, five lot uh, three orders in here. Uh, so you know we're moving our way up in the queue. Uh, so uh, maybe people are pulling in here, uh, and then people are adding behind. But uh, uh, anyway, the only other simulator that I have seen that is better um, is a pure virtual or, or artificial intelligent uh, environment here. Let me cancel all of these. Um, uh, artificial environment that um, uh, it will, um, or artificial intelligence environment uh, that simulates the entire world or of, of trading here. Uh, and it will... Um, or in this in this instrument uh, and it will fill you uh, like it w was a, uh, uh, a a real order based on some historical model right and that that is the the most accurate that I've ever seen in terms of simulation anyway I'm um, long story uh, just trying to uh, uh, go through a little bit of education about some of these things and what they are uh, and how to use them um, all right let's uh, let's move on here and uh, let's see who's doing what and how you guys uh, performing here Dan Dan's out in front look at that followed by joy George and then uh, Osterman Osterman nice you're up there see look look at mouthwash 69 you're, you're you're climbing up you're almost there uh, you're in the top five so uh, uh, looking pretty good um, all right, so we're only showing like uh, what the top 10 here or so, right? Um, okay, let's move on. Uh, let's get to the next question. <laughs> A reason to live. Uh, absolutely. Okay, question number five. Ready? Let's go. Which bookmap add-on shows both the current and historical cumulative view of the limit order book. Cumulative view of the limit order book. Wow. 
these are too simple for you guys. All right, liquidity tracker is correct. Okay, now it's going to come down to like who's uh, who's the fastest here. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's take a look here and then go over it. Um, now let's 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 see who's winning here. All right, leaderboard, and here we go. That was pretty close. Dan, Dan is the fastest. Um, so uh, doing well. I don't see much of a change in here. Uh, so um, uh, yeah. Yep, still looking pretty good here. All right, so let's go over uh, the liquidity tracker. Um, we, we haven't really gone over much of the li liquidity tracker in, in quite a while. Uh, that's kind of why we uh, wanted to add it in here. Uh, and uh, it is um, this indicator here where we can show bid and ask uh, or the difference between them. Uh, <clears throat> and all it's doing is taking the liquidity or the order book here both current and historical uh, and uh, uh, showing uh, it in relationship to price here are they adding or pulling liquidity so here price is coming down here and you can see that they're pulling in the heat map right where whereas previously they were in here in fact they were kind of adding in here but that's offset a little bit by them adding in here too right so you know it's just showing you the liquidity uh, and you can see that, uh, wow, okay, they're going to pull here. Well, this opens the door then for these sellers to push it down lower. They didn't, but they could have. Uh, if uh, maybe there was even a bigger skew in the auction at that level. So this is one of the ways to use it. Uh, you know, maybe you don't, maybe you find the heat map, uh, uh, you know, a little confusing. And uh, uh, maybe it's just too much information for you or I don't know, whatever the, the reason might be. Uh, you can also look at the liquidity uh, tracker in here and start to uh, put some of the pieces together uh, and, uh, you know, start to understand, like, uh, where, where are they adding, where are they pulling? Uh, and then some of these areas in here, like down here, uh, if they're going to be um, uh, pulling this away here, uh, yeah, this is, well, this is turning into trap volume, in fact. Uh, so um, uh, because they, you know, we did get some sellers in here, but it came right back into the range here. Right, and then right back to the other side of this little range in here. Now it's actually looking like the seller is going to follow through, uh, and then hit back down to point of control and and uh, bottom of this range here. And they're pulling, they're pulling liquidity in here. So it opens the door again for these uh, sellers to hit it lower uh, into these areas here. So let's look at the heat map and just uh, confirm that. Well, this is five o'clock. That's why. <laughs> All right, so the market is closed now at this point. Well, perfect timing because uh, that's the last one that we need uh, um, the uh, uh, market for. Um, all right, the, the, uh, let's get to the last question then. And all right, this one is more of culture. Bonus question, which movie is this scene from? I like this movie. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Okay. A few of you uh, guessed uh, Boiler Room. It is not. It is Margin Call. And like almost all of you got that. So it's going to come down to the fastest. And let's see who won here. All right. Here we go. Wow, it's all evened up. It's pretty even here. Dan. Dan pulls it out. Look at that. Dan pulls out the lead here. Good job. Um, yeah, Osterman, I love that movie too. Uh, I've seen it like, I don't know, four or five times, I think. Um, yeah, it's rigged. <laughs> hey, the markets are rigged. What can I tell you? Um, so uh, uh, excellent. Dan, um, this is the way we do it in here. Um, Dan is Tom. Um, uh, this is the way we do it in here. Like, just reach out to me on um, uh, w with your uh, uh, Discord in here. All right. Uh, this is uh, uh, the only way to verify it here. No, no email or anything like that. It's got to be through your uh, your Discord. Okay. And uh, and so you get a hundred dollars uh, uh, coupon to uh, 
uh, the bookmap marketplace, choose what you want. All right. This is what happens in mail-in voting. <laughs> hey, you guys, you guys got a good sense of humor. Uh, appreciated it. Um, so uh, yeah, we we do this. We'll do it another one uh, next week as well, next Thursday. So look for it. Uh, we've got a bunch of events coming up. All right, we've got. Uh, uh, some really interesting events like uh, kind of end of the month and then also beginning of June. Uh, I'll elaborate uh, more on that uh, soon, but uh, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, you know, uh, in fact, I just sent out a, check your email. I just sent out a, uh, a mass email, a digest, a, a book map digest to, uh, uh, to everybody. Uh, and uh, uh, take a look through there. I mean, we've got all sorts of things going on. Uh, new releases of, of new indicators and, and add-ons. Uh, it's all kind of coming to a head here. Uh, we've got other events. We've got the new, we've got Tom streaming um, on uh, on YouTube now. Uh, we've got our Discord channel. Our Discord channel really opened things up. Uh, and uh, we've got events like this and, and a lot more coming. So, um, you know, in the stocks room, in the crypto room, uh, et cetera. So, uh, um, you know, we we have a kind of a, a bigger picture vision of our community here as it's growing uh, to really offer you guys a, a, a nice place to come to um, and um, uh, uh, support you. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, that's it. Uh, thanks, everybody, uh, for uh, participating. Um, we will uh, catch up with you. Let's see. We have the advanced webinar tomorrow. I'll be hosting that. Uh, and then uh, uh, Tom B. will be after. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks a lot for coming. Uh, and uh, uh, we will catch up with you tomorrow morning. Okay. Have a good evening. Yeah, take care. Bye-bye.